Good evening once again. Tonight, a Buffalo community is mourning the loss of a young woman, a high school senior who authorities say was killed by her 18-year-old boyfriend. Lanesha Johnson died last week after what prosecutors say was a brutal beating. Her boyfriend now charged with her murder. And tonight, the case is putting domestic violence back into the spotlight once again. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jetty Johnson. Domestic violence is real, and we got to make it more prevalent because our young people are dying. It was early Saturday morning when Buffalo police say they found 18-year-old Lanisha Johnson dead inside a vehicle at the Martin Luther King Jr. Park. The suspect, now charged with her murder, her 18-year-old boyfriend. This young lady was a baby. She was just forming. She was just about to bloom into what she could be. According to a Buffalo school board meeting, Lanisha, affectionately called Lala by family and friends, was a senior at MST Preparatory High School. She had plans to go to college in the fall. We struggle with getting our children to graduate. And when we have students who are college bound and prepared to move forward and, a tra and tragedy happens in their life, for us it's a double blow. Lala's story follows a dangerous and sometimes deadly narrative for many teens and young adults in America. According to the Family Justice Center, one in three teens and young adults will experience domestic violence in their lifetime. And that one in three age group with the teens and young adults are extremely high risk. Ava says many young or first time relationships may include intimate partner violence that can be physical, verbal, or mental abuse from a partner. And in that relationship, there is often a clear power dynamic. You have to constantly have your phone on you and answer every text or answer every call or you are questioned. That's something that you really want to look at because that behavior can escalate. Ava says parents should take note of changed behaviors in their children. For example, if they leave a room anytime their significant other calls, unexplained bruises around the neck area, or drastic changes in grades. And a lot of times that's equated to, oh, that's just that age, or it's something with school or substance use. We need to also look at domestic violence, relationship abuse. That might be what's causing it. In Buffalo, Jetty Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News. And remember this, if you are in a situation in which you need some help, you can always call the Domestic Violence Hotline anytime, day or night. The phone number toll free, 1-800-799-799. S-A-F-E, safe.